Hi Claire, I'm, I'm Azelle from the upcoming, lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, really well, probably better for you, you're over in Berlin, is it amazing to be part of all this shooting stars and be nominated, how does that feel for you right now? It's like being shot out of a cannon and uh, <laughs> into a kind of media train and it's like photo, photo, photo. But uh, it's, it's lovely and it's really it's so warm and welcoming and all of the actors are just the best fun. Like I feel already completely connected to them and we're bonding, bonding. <laughs> Over a few drinks, I hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's lovely, it's lovely. Well, especially post-pandemic as well, it must feel really nice to kind of, you know, a bit of normality as well, isn't it, for you guys? It's just such a relief to be around our tribe again, you know? <laughs> yeah, completely understand. So, you know, you started your career with a lot of theatre roles, um, you know, before moving then on to a film. Um, do you prefer one over the other? And what's kind of the difference for you with them? one over the other I just feel that in the last few years I've been really lucky to learn my screen craft like really really get an understanding of it because I was a bit later to it I was more doing theatre at first and um, I would nearly say that both of them use the same amount of energy but just in different um, time segments so like theatre is like you're on stage for 90 minutes or two hours depending on how long the show is and it's full on and you're trying to sense the energy of the audience and kind of be in this collaboration with them. Whereas then in film, it's almost, you are literally, the, the audience is in that camera lens, but it's kind of like you're allowing them in, you're allowing them come into you. Um, but I would say that takes just as much energy in those moments, because you're really living that moment truly. So it's been a really interesting process and it's very hard to tell which one is better, especially since pandemic, because as you say, it's just such a thrill to be in a room with people. So I don't know, I think it's 50-50, 50-50. You obviously wrote and starred in herself. Um, and how was that kind of writing a script that you then performed to kind of writing for yourself, you know, for your role? How, how did that feel? Was that, uh, uh, that strange or? It's, it's kind of, obviously it's quite empowering on a, a journey. It's a very empowering journey to even have an idea that you actually follow through with and, and take to that place of like everybody coming together and making it. And um, that that's empowering. But the actual weeks of the shoot was so funny because in the first week, I, I actually found it so hard to learn my own lines. It's like because I'm used to being an actor that gets handed something and I hardcore learn it off. But when it's my own, I'm like, uh, I could probably make that line sound better. <laughs> I start trying to edit it in the middle of like learning it and it's like, that's not going to work, Claire. So that was a bit hard the first week, but I, I made it eventually. You know, I got there. I got there in the end. <laughs> And what inspired you to tell that story? Where did you get your ideas from for that? It was my pure anger at the housing crisis in Dublin and the fact that my best friend with three children was getting really affected by that. And I was just really annoyed on her behalf, on people of my generation. We're all just sick of feeling like we have to fork out like, you know, two grand a month on a one bed flat and none of us can afford to get a house and there's not enough houses. So. I wanted to write something that was showing somebody going from nothing to building some their, their own home for them from them for themselves. And I just wanted to tell something that was hopeful and redemptive and yet based in reality. So what happened was I just Googled about self building in Ireland for cheap and I found this guy that made a house for twenty five thousand euro. So in the end, what I did was I wrote this script that's completely researched and based in fact. So it seems like something fictional that you could never do, but actually it's all based on stuff that I found out online and by interviewing people. Um, and so that was kind of where it came from. It was just me wanting to also express something uh, on film and I hadn't really gotten to act that much. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna write. Um, and then in the end, it was brilliant because um, Phila, the director, wanted me to play the role. So it, it, was, it was a huge honor, but it was mostly coming from I'm sick of seeing <laughs> the wrong story being told. So. And obviously you started in the, in the series Kin as Amanda and well, it's a fantastic Peter McKenna on that. Did he 
um, you know, he did such a brilliant job of creating that kind of world. And Kim, did he did he give you any tips when you you know when you started writing the script for yourself or herself yourself? <laughs> uh, no, I only met I only met Peter after I'd made my own film already so but yeah. he's now saying to me I might be able to help him with Kin so hopefully <laughs> that was amazing yeah. and, and and they're obviously both very strong female leads but essentially the family is at the very heart of their decisions right in Kin it is definitely yeah yeah it really is it's kind of more yeah it's more of a family drama actually that just happens to be set in a gang world and I think it's really interesting that you end up just seeing a lot more of people's personal journey behind a closed door as well as in front of the rest of the world or the or the the family. And so I think that's why people identify with it a lot, because it's more about you and your tribe. And when you step away from the tribe or the choices you make that might be different to your family or how do you deal with the family that's kind of like in a battle with you, even though you're part of it. I think that's why a lot of people connect to this story because it's not just about gangs and drug wars. It's kind of more about the humanity of uh, being a child growing up in a family and then how you uh, assert your voice in it as well. And how do you go about choosing the roles that you've played? You know, what draws you to them? I think I'm just really interested in like seeing women really written very well and very like layered and that they have way more to them because I think um, that was frustrating for a long for a lot of uh, actresses in previous generations and I feel like now we're wanting to see more women that are real women and they're flawed and they're not perfect and one minute they're funny and laugh and the next minute they're crying or whatever like just like much more humane and and, and just real. So I'm interested in that. And I'm also interested in stories that um, help us all uh, kind of, I don't know, understand ourselves more, especially at this moment in time on the planet, because I think we all feel a lot of pressure to sort out climate change, to save ourselves. And if we're going to do that, we have to really look at ourselves. So I'm interested in stories that really do that. Um, and whether it be comedy or tragedy or action, I don't mind as long as the story is saying something for our generation and the future and that it's pushing forward the consciousness in some way. And what do you think some of the challenges you had, you know, you had when writing the story of herself and then playing it? What were some of those challenges that you came across? I just felt a lot of pressure sometimes. Like it was just, you know, a lot of pressure to carry the lead role and the the script, although I had a co-writer for the final year, which really helped. That really, really took a bit of the pressure off. But I think the challenge was trying to step out of the writer's boots into the actor's shoes and really just be her. Um, but after a week or so, I, I really felt like I was inside of it then. And um, I felt supported by everyone around me. I think if you're going to do those kind of big challenging things in life, it's about the community around you as well. It's not just about you. You know, you don't do it by yourself. You do it with many, many other people helping you. Yeah, a nice collaborative effort. <laughs> and um, so what is next for you? Season two akin. Um, and I've just made a proof of concept. I'm hoping to make another feature film that I might, I might try and direct, basically. So I might do that. And I'm working on a TV pilot that I want to get funded into being a series too. So, yeah, just tipping away at my writing projects and... <laughs> Just keep self-taping, you know, just keep doing the self-tapes. That's it, really. Well, thank you so much for speaking to me. Good luck with it all. Enjoy your time at the Berlin Film Festival. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.